Hey guys, what's up, it's Mike. So like many people, my girlfriend hates her job. Unlike many people, she thinks the answer to hating her job is to bring a little pygmy goat into the apartment so she can start making artisan cheese. Bit of a jump. So I tell her this and she's like, what's the problem? You put cheese on everything. Exactly right. You know what's even more fun than making her own cheese? going to the store and buying it. And it takes way less time and it's way less gross. I don't wanna see the cheese being made. I don't wanna see the milking process. Just wanna see it laid gently atop my sandwich. That's the part I wanna get to, cause that's my favorite part. And then I eat it and then that becomes my favorite part. Quick question just to you personally. Have you ever milked a goat? Let alone a pygmy goat? Regular goat nipples are what, like that? Pygmy goat nipples are, have you thought this out? Cheese or no cheese, we can't get a pygmy goat because goats are wild animals. Goats are herding animals, which means they're almost never alone. So if you get one, it's gonna get all bummed out. Imagine you come home from a long day of work and you're like, oh, hey goat, what's up? How was your day? And he's like, bad. And you're like, it's the same thing with you every day, goat. Also, did you know that these things are terrific escape artists? So let's say we actually bring one here, chances are he's gonna homeward bound at some point. When exploring their surroundings, goats tend to take a nibble on stuff. Goat nibbles aren't like regular tiny little adorable people nibbles. Goats just chew on stuff. It's literally a cliche. You've seen my t-shirt and old tin can collection. What do you collect? If we bring a goat in here, say goodbye to all of it. Did you know that pygmy goats will straight out just refuse water if it's not fresh? I'm not shopping for a pellet pooping little diva. Oh, I'm sorry, tiny goat. You don't drink tap water? You're lucky if you even get that. Might as well just lift up the lid on the toilet. <laughs> Pygmy goats are prone to something called sore mouth. So now this thing's in the house. It's all bummed out because it's alone. It's pooping tiny pellets, probably has some kind of a fever. And last but not least, it has little sores all over its mouth. Are we adopting a pygmy goat or a pygmy prostitute? That's why we can't get a pygmy goat. The wild animals just kind of starting to get grossed out. <laughs>